Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about a lower body strength session for rugby players in season. It's been a while since I've done one of these example videos, so let's just get straight into it. So we start off with a bit of a briefing just to go over what we're doing and where we're going with the program. It's really important, especially when it comes to leg day, that the boys know that why we're pushing, when we're going to pull back in volume, and how much intensity I'm looking for in the session. Now, as I said, we're in season, so the most important thing is the guys feel good and ready on game day to play. However, there is work to be done and we are tapering into things because, you know, we have another big block of games coming up. So it's important in this session that we hit enough volume so that we can taper in and be at our best and stay strong throughout these block of games. So I want to come into these games um, as strong as we, we possibly can and then be able to maintain that as we go through so that we're as strong at the end of the block as we were at the start of the block and obviously we're looking at power and speed and other metrics as well. So you'll notice contrast training all throughout. The first lift that we do is a mid thigh pull and that's going to lead us into hand cleans and things down the line but the mid thigh pull is where we're starting in this particular block um, and the guys are working through that really well trying to nail extension and get that quick shrug at the top. After the mid thigh pull the guys are separated into groups depending on what they need to work on. So we've got some guys that are going from mid thigh pull into this bag drill where they're taking the hit and then just pumping and driving the legs to break the line. So just like the mid thigh pull, intent is key, but also in this drill, once they take the hit, it's really important that they're driving their knees, their knees, their knees to get through the line. Other guys have drop jumps and we're working on stiffness there and speed off the ground. They're not jumping as high as they possibly can. They're not bringing the hips into it. It's just about hitting the ground and getting off the ground as fast as possible. And lastly, there's the group that's supersetting mid thigh pull with single leg hops. It's important here that when the guys are doing hops, they're actually picking their leg up as well. So again, there's good intent and power in that movement. So for the main lower body lift, this group had Bulgarian split squat. Now, in this period that we're in, in January, at the time of going to print with this video, the ground is really hard here. Even on the synthetic pitch, it's hard, and on the grass pitch, it's really hard because it's winter time. So using Bulgarian split squats just means there's a little bit less load going through the spine, but we can stay super strong in the legs and then use that to build leg strength and maintain leg strength, depending on obviously um, the player and how we're modifying load. So it's a bit strange factoring in the terrain and your programming But it is one of the things that you have to think about when the ground is hard because as strong as the abs might be When you're doing high running volume and when you're hitting your 20k per week And it's always on ground that's solid little things can start creeping in sore backs and things like that so it's good to um, counterbalance that let's say or work around that in the gym by you know not having 160 kilograms on your back and doing five reps of back squat for example instead using 80 90 kilograms and doing five on each leg as an example so that's one reason why we're using Bulgarian split squats it's not the only reason there are some other things in there based on our time of the season and the games that we have coming up so after the Bulgarian split squats the guys have more unilateral work in this program with single leg RDLs the guys are getting really quite good at this with their balance and posture. And again, it's something I've put in the program um, based on knowing you know, the running volume that they're going to have to do tonight and then also the week ahead. To finish off, we have some neck work, some isometric holds laterally, and then we go into some med ball passing. And that's it guys. It's a 50 minute session, depending on how long you take to warm up. And it may seem like a lot to some people and it may seem like absolutely nothing to some people. Remember that context dependent and we're in season. I know exactly what's happening in training tonight because I have the historical data from the GPS. So I know, okay, coach is using this drill, that drill, that drill. So more or less, this guy will hit this speed there. He's gonna do this many accelerations, etc., etc. So that all gets factored in to when you're looking at a lower body strength session. It is really important in season that you're maintaining your leg strength and power. We favor a lot and um, contrast training supersets and in order to do that of course there's other groups coming in today and they have different programs because they have different needs but suffice to say their intensity number of lifts and the total volume load as well is going to be more or less the same as the guys this morning just with different strategies to get there so guys short and simple if you find these kind of example videos interesting let me know in the comment section and i will think about making more of them thanks very much for watching hopefully it was helpful i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>